Good morning. It's a great day to be an aardvark, and today everyone is an aardvark. Woo Woo! Hope you saw Artie, he was around. Uh, oh, there's Artie over in the corners. Uh, so there we go. So welcome, and thank you so much for joining us today as we celebrate the open house and ribbon cutting for our Ames Community College Welcome Center. This is a momentous occasion for the college, our Northern Colorado community, and the many current and future students who engage with Ames. Not that long ago, the idea of having a place like this, a facility as impressive as this, seemed perhaps a bit far-fetched. But thanks to the collaborative efforts of many people, we were able to come and see its, to its fruition. The Welcome Center was developed with input from a wide variety of stakeholders, from students to employees to community leaders. And the Welcome Center is the product of many minds and it's meant to serve the needs of many people throughout our growing region. We're standing here today in a very impressive building of which you get to see in just a little while, as do I, I haven't toured this for a month, on purpose, because I wanted the wow factor. Uh, but it's so much more than a building. The Welcome Center is a symbol of community and it will serve as the entry point to Ames, integrating all of those who come through its doors of the college. For future students, it means that this is where they'll take the very first steps to their educational journey. For enrolled students, this will be the hub where they access many services that they'll rely upon throughout their time here at Ames. And for all members of our community, this is a place where meetings and events of all sorts can take place. During the pandemic, I heard numerous times from folks throughout the community who would specifically drive by because they wanted to get out of their house, uh, to see the construction progress and to let us know that it gave them hope, hope that this too shall pass, hope in observing creativity, momentum, and progress, and hope for the future. This Welcome Center is for all of us, just as Ames is for all of us, and it's a tangible example of how Ames is building a stronger community. After we hear from everyone, and after the ribbon cutting, you're invited to take a tour of this truly impressive facility. I'd now like to hand the microphone over to Lyle Oxiger, Chair of Ames Community College Board of Trustees. Well, thank you, Dr. Bornstein. Good morning and welcome to Ames. Appreciate you all being here. I'm honored to be here today representing the Ames Board of Trustees. On behalf of the entire board, I want to say thank you to everyone who has put so much time, energy, and passion into this project. It took a lot of talent, dedication, and a whole lot of hard work to get to where we are today. As I've said many times, this new Welcome Center truly epitomizes the success of Ames. Its innovative design and functionality reflect the forward thinking institution that Ames really is through and through. I'm so proud of what Ames does for our community and I know the Welcome Center will greatly enhance the college's ability to provide educational opportunities, workforce development, and a spirit of community belonging. It's been fascinating to witness this project from beginning to now. The board voted to approve funding for it in late 2018. How time does fly. And since then, we have seen so many members of the Ames community and the community at large come together to make this happen. Now, three years down the road, we have this magnificent facility ready to serve as a gathering place an event space, a hub for student services, and so very much more. It was an investment well worth making, as the value of the experiences that take place here for decades to come will be immeasurable. Thank you all for sharing this day with us. I would now like to extend a special welcome to Greeley Mayor John Gates. Ames is extremely grateful and appreciative of the support 
shown by him and the city of Greeley. Thank you, Chair Oxiger, and thank you to the Ames Board of Trustees and President Bornstein for inviting me to this special occasion. I'm truly honored to be here this morning. As Mayor of Greeley, and as an Ames alum, by the way, I'm excited and proud to celebrate this new facility. The Welcome Center is extremely important for Greeley. It's one of the most innovative facilities in our region, and it is going to offer much opportunity for students who come to Ames and for members of our community at large. The city of Greeley appreciates very much our partnership with Ames, and we are lucky to live in a community with Ames as a resource. I simply don't know of any other community college that has such beautiful campuses, as well as so many state-of-the-art buildings. I know this Welcome Center will bring educational, economic, and cultural opportunities to students, residents, and visitors alike for years to come. Thank you again for having me today to celebrate with you. It seems like uh, just a short time ago we stood outside and uh, about 80 degree winds, as I recall, <laughs> and uh, broke ground on this facility. It certainly did turn out beautifully. Now I'd like to introduce Ames Executive Vice President, Dr. Russ Rothamer. Thank you, Mayor Gates. Good morning. Thank you all for being here to share in the excitement as we open our new Welcome Center. Today marks a significant step forward as we continue to enhance our campus experience for the um, campus, students, and communities we serve. I'd like to extend my thanks to the Ames Board of Trustees, Dr. Bornstein, Cabinet, and all of our faculty and staff for supporting this project. And thank you to our Ames facilities team and the construction crews architects, and all of those who have worked so long and hard to make this place what it is. The effort behind this building has been significant. I've enjoyed watching as the building has materialized over the course of the last year and a half. And while I could go on and on about the building itself, I want to emphasize what this place will mean for all of those who come to Ames going forward from today. It is going to bring many positive learning and collaboration experiences, providing space for students, faculty, staff, and community members to come together and share knowledge. I look forward to seeing how all of the activity that takes place here enhances the learning and community will foster the success of our students. Thank you again to everyone who has supported this project along its journey. Now I'd like to introduce our Ames Vice President for Student Engagement and Inclusion, Dr. Sarah Weiskaber. Good morning, Weld County. Good morning, Weld County. I'm so excited to be here with y'all today. Um, we have waited and waited. It feels like this two years watching the building coming alive has taken a lot longer than it really has. And yet, as we look back, it happened so quickly. I'm excited for the college. I'm excited for the community. But most importantly, I am biased. I am excited for our students. Many of us have worked and we continue to work to transform the student experience at Ames to ensure that students are set up for success throughout not only their time here, but the time where they graduate and become other members of our community. The Welcome Center is a physical manifestation of that work. It is a place that facilitates a smooth transition for students when they start an unknown journey. This space and the student station within it holds many of our traditional services that we've had in higher ed. One of our newest services it holds is called the Navigation Station, which is designed to help students as a concierge service move through their experience at Ames and understanding the different offices they need to do, do so that they can focus on their learning and their success in the classroom. With a quick show of hands, how many of you were a student at Ames or know a student at Ames at some point in your life. This is Weld County, folks. This is Ames Community College. 
<laughs> our students, you all, are central to everything we do. Our students are our future workforce leaders. They're our future leaders of this community. They are the purpose that we created this building. I can think of no better way to honor who our students are, who our students will be, and who our students were than the creation of a space like this to truly honor and respect them. As we mark this new chapter at Ames, we are committed to ensuring that our students have the most excellent experience here, that they feel welcomed, that they feel like they belong. It's truly an honor to stand here before you and on this behalf of our students and the student staff, welcome you all to the Ames Community College Welcome Center. Now, to introduce one of our most important folks in this project, I happily invite our Executive Director of uh, uh, Facilities and Operations up to the stage, Mike Millsaps, to share with us how this came to be. How do we do? All right. What an awesome morning. You know, it's, it's such an honor and pleasure to lead this project from representing this community college. The hard work that so many people have put into the planning, design, and construction of this outstanding facility will last for generations. It's a product of collaboration among people from all aspects of our community. From the Ames leadership, staff, students, community members, general contractors, subcontractors, architects, and our consultants. Literally hundreds of people were instrumental in making this project come to life. What a great example of our community coming together to build something meaningful. A place for students, staff, and community to share ideas and celebrate together. Together we've created a community-inspired flexible design along with something for everyone. I'm so proud of everyone involved in this project and excited for everyone who will benefit from this great building. So a couple things. A ballroom, we're sitting above an auditorium. How cool is that? <laughs> Anybody ever seen that before? I have never seen that before. So hats off to the architect and the design team on that. Escalators, we have two escalators. How many escalators are in Weld County? Two, 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 two. two. <laughs> two. Shields doesn't count and we don't have a Ferris wheel, but that's in Larimer County. <laughs> And to top it off, how about three skyboxes above the auditorium that you'll all see on the tour? Just very innovative design, very exciting. So with that, I would like Jennifer Cordes, who's principal with Hort Copeland Mock Architects, and John Pittman, president of Franson and Pittman, to come up and say a few more remarks for us. Well, I think Mike summed it up pretty well, so we're just going to briefly thank some of the team members that were with us. I think, as you all know, it took a lot of us to put this together. Uh, so just a quick shout out to Hort Copeland Mox, the whole team there. We had architects, landscape architects, interior designers. I'm sure you all saw the history of Ames Wall. We had exhibit designers, uh, graphic designers. So we had, we had a small army working with us, not to mention all the engineers. So KLNA, who did the structural, um, MEP engineers uh, were Kateruma, uh, NV5 did all the amazing audio visuals, they did all the acoustics for us, technology, hydro systems, um, I had a list here, so uh, Northern Engineering who did civil, uh, we really had a wonderful, wonderful group of people that helped uh, create this facility, but really at the end of the day, this is your vision, uh, we really helped you and we were honored to be your partner in building this amazing facility but it, this was really your dream and uh, we really appreciate uh, to have been on the journey with you and then i have to give a shout out to friends and pitman uh, they are some of the best most high integrity general contracting group that you will ever find in the state of colorado and they took what we had on paper and made it real so we're excited to share this with you today I can tell you, I've always loved building stuff. I mean, it doesn't matter. It could be in my garage. It could be here. 
Uh, and, and one thing I've learned is that everybody who's in this industry shares that passion. And, and when you take a vision and then it becomes a, a, a design that we all think about, think what, what an amazing expression of that vision. And then we get to be the guys who make it, turn it into bricks and mortar. And I just want to thank the, the, the Ames community for having us be part of their team. And I want to congratulate you guys. I also want to, want to point out that all the builders are standing around the perimeter. Those guys. I couldn't be more appreciative, I couldn't be more excited, and thank you guys for the hard work and the effort that you've put in here. And congratulations for the new Welcome Center. So real quick, and lastly, if I could have John Clark, Superintendent of Construction, Brady Fountain, Project Manager, Larry Fielder, General Superintendent, and Ryan Nichols, Project Architect, join me on the stage real quick. So this is the core team that made this happen, and we don't want them to forget us either. <laughs> so a day back, I think it was in, I don't know what that, May or June, over 250 of us, I think, gathered together. And what a beautiful picture, beautiful image, it'll last forever. So thank you, everyone. And I think it's uh, back, back to Dr. Bornstein. So thank you again. We wanted to make this um, momentous and short and sweet so you can get on your tour. So thank you again for joining us. This is the beginning of countless new opportunities for Ames in Northern Colorado. And a heartfelt thank you to everyone. I'm so glad all of our um, builders and designers are all here to celebrate together uh, and to make this such a reality and such a wonderful experience. I know we, uh, several of us have already thanked our Board of Trustees, but if you don't mind, Board, uh, would you mind standing up to be recognized so that we can thank you truly? Because it was you, uh, your, certainly your encouragement and your support, without which we would not be sitting here. So, Board of Trustees, would you please stand? Thank you. So it's a little interesting, as we turn the calendar to 2022, Ames uh, experiences or turns, 20, uh, turns 55. Uh, and what an interesting and wonderful way to celebrate 55 years of history and to usher in the next 55. So with that, I can't wait for you all to take a tour. We are gonna do our ribbon cutting right up front here. So I know um, Board members, I know you were just standing, but if you could make your way to the front of the stage and then stage party, we're going to make our way down there too. We'll do some ribbon cutting. We're gonna take a couple pictures then send you on your way here. All right, we're gonna count to three. One, One two, two. 